yeah guys we're going to be looking at neo stock neo stock guys let's have a look at the chart it's pre-market by the way pre-market 15th november 2024 coming up to 11 36 a.m and a current price of neo stock guys is we're looking at the 10 minute chart by the way current price is four dollars 47 47 cents there it is guys we're looking at a 10 minute chart and I'll just squeeze that chart see what's been going on pre-market squeeze that chart I'm in long on two accounts, two trading platforms, still holding. I don't I don't mind holding. So it's the 15th. This was the 14th. And you can see you just squeeze it a bit. On the 14th was a high of 468. And obviously it's come lower. It's pushing up a bit now. Uh, obviously it went lower than the previous trading day we can see that when we change the chart let's put it on a one day chart for a minute and yeah it's had a it's had a real bashing neo stock but technically if you discount this spike you know that went to 770 technically still within range at four you know just below 450 still within still within range i mean there's a lot more good news to come out for neo stock i suppose moving into 2025 but that's the range it was around five dollars as you recall pushing up to 540 between five and 540 and then you know, got hit by several chunks of bad news. Some of it misunderstood, by the way. Some of the bad news is not per se bad news. It was just speculation, just, um, you know, information that's not really clear or uncertain. Let's say uncertain, you know, uncertain information, rather. That's why people. You know turned away really from neo stock but i think in the future they'll, they'll come back they'll come back they'll return to neo stock because already we're seeing tesla stock fall and other stocks fall it's trying to stay up but they can't they're already really manipulated stocks go up based on politics or whatever but you know if you look at actual sales numbers when you think that already BYD is overtaken Tesla, started to overtake Tesla, and then you've got Neo going up, you know, go climbing up the ranks. Neo's climbing up the ranks in China. So obviously it's gonna take time and I think that Firefly, that Firefly model coming out next month december i think that's going to help a lot you know i think that will help the um the neo stock price in 2025 so i think that if it stays around you know even if it goes down to four but if it stays around 450 obviously it's been hurt it could have you know without that bad news we could have seen a spike and we still made see a spike in december although you know coming up to the holidays in like in december you know i mean we still may see a spike in 2024 and we're in november now it's still possible in november it could pick up but um if it, if it hadn't been bashed down we could have been around six dollars possibly but it is what it is and as I say, as I say, like you know, there's been a, there's a lot of stocks that have 
gone down, the price has fallen from a big high, even even more than um, even more than Neo stock. And Neo stock was sixty six dollars. There's stocks that have fallen, um, like there's one stock. What was it? I think Metro Bank. Yeah, Metro Bank was what was it over forty pounds or something like that. Even higher than that, I think at its peak, and it actually fell to um, twenty eight pence. I mean, you imagine that kind of fall, and then it was sideways for a long time, and now it's starting to pick up, it's pushing close to one pound. That might seem like nothing, but going from twenty eight pence to one pound is a big thing, and it could go a lot higher, but. What I'm trying to say is that Metro Bank was going sideways a long time after it fully completely crashed. You can check the chart on that. And um, Neo stock could be doing a similar thing, but obviously, like with sales, uh, as they sell more and more, you're going to see uh, a faster recovery. I think you see a faster recovery. So this is the um, this is the basically the day yeah we're on the day chart. So that's how it is on the day chart. Um, so yeah, if it goes sideways, even you know, for even a couple of months, like and we push as but as I said, it can still go up in in the, in twenty twenty four. You know, November we're in now and December. I mean, I'm not going to put, like, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to call it. But I think if it did go up, it could go back to this range, you know, like 540, 550. It could easily go up back to this range. I mean, I don't think that the reasons it's been bashed down for... I like warranted. I don't think that Neo stock deserves to be at this kind of level, but if you think about the long term, it doesn't really matter, right? Why why does it matter if you think that Neo stock's gonna go up 25, you know, 2025, 2026? Why does it matter that it's down now? I mean, isn't it a buying opportunity? Not financial advice, you know, I'm not telling anyone to buy buy or sell or hold or close or go long go short just saying like you, you know if you believe neo stock will be a lot higher in 2025 then you shouldn't be concerned in my opinion you shouldn't be concerned about the price what it is now because because at the end of the day there's nothing you can do about it there's nothing you can do about it i mean there's so many stocks that have been down cheap buying opportunities and that you know when they fell a little bit further people moaned I mean including like Metro Bank in a way although it was you know it's difficult because if it's going sideways at say 50 50 pence a long time and then it falls to 28 people are gonna get worried but the thing is it just wasn't the right time for it to go up. You have to think about the timing. When does a stock go up? You can't always call it right, you know. You can't always say, you know, you can't always be right, be correct about when it's going to go up. But let's say it does go up. In the future, a stock goes up like NEO. Let's say, for instance, NEO goes to $15. I mean, if you've got a time machine, you would and you saw $15 in the future, you would load up, you know, you would load up right now, you'd put everything on it. If you saw $15, let's just say, could go, you know, obviously it could go a lot higher, but let's just say you went a little bit into the future on the time travel and you saw $15 Neo stock. I mean, that really is only X3, so it's only really a ten dollar profit, you know. It's, it's, let's say assuming a little bit more than ten dollars, you know, 
dollars because Neo stocks about four fifty now. But let's say, yeah, let's say it was fifteen. You would make ten ten dollars fifty cents thereabouts. Obviously, you got the spreads, buy spread, sell spread. But that's what the way I think like about stocks sometimes. That you know, it looks bad. It looks bad. It looks bad. Sometimes certain stocks they look like disasters. But with a time travel, if you can, if you can think about how, uh, like a different price in the future, different stock price, if you can think that it will get there eventually, then there's no harm, in my opinion, in holding. Obviously, like you might lose on one or two stocks. But Neo stock, I think it's early on in the making with, you know, different models coming out, selling, selling, selling. It's not like one of these companies that could just sort of disappear, in my opinion. I mean, look, in December, they've got the Firefly coming out. That should boost sales and boost profits, you know, boost revenues. And then you've got to think about in the future, Neo stock selling parts, parts for the vehicles, um, you know, bodywork parts, interior parts, etc. And then you've got to think about expansion, where they can sell that Firefly car other countries, not just in China. And then future models to come out. And then obviously the existing models they've got and updates, you know, to the existing models. But I think that overall, Neo stock, in my opinion, does have a future. I think it does have a future in terms of a lot uh, better stock price in the future. I think it, it will go up a lot. But I think it will go up gradually in a natural progression. I think if you're looking at this $66 it was at and thinking like, oh, why isn't it there now, etc. Well you got to, you got to remember that well, that happened in twenty, you know, twenty twenty, twenty twenty one. And it happened to quite a lot of stocks that went up like that. And um that is more or less a pump you can't compare a pump to natural climb look tesla was pumped and tesla's tesla's price is still up you know but it's not in a safe situation because it's uh was an artificial rise there was nothing that warranted that kind of rise in its stock price so in a way, it, it's a good thing for Neo stock if it if the price rises gradually, because a gradual price, you know, stock gradual increase in the price of a stock means that it's on a more solid foundation. It's rising for you know purposeful reasons, you know, concrete reasons, not not all artificially pumped up like what you see with a lot of stocks now. And that's why you know, when the stock market crash, you'll see, in my opinion, stocks like Tesla like crashing really, really, really bad. Where stocks like Neo, a lot of money will be coming into stocks like Neo because, you know, Neo has got, uh, in my opinion, a good future ahead. But obviously, it's a waiting game as an investor. If you're an investor in EO stock, my opinion, it's a waiting game. Um, because obviously, like the stock has the potential, particularly, you know, Neo stock has the potential to climb really, really high, even gradually. And in that respect, in my opinion, investors. They want to get in at an early stage at this sort of level when stock is 
you know, fairly low, the stock price is fairly low, because when it does go up, and if it does go up high and higher, makes new highs, that's the time you want to be holding, holding, not, you know, you want to be buying now, if you're going to buy, in my opinion, you don't want to be waiting for it to go $10 and then buy, because it's early on in the journey for the Neo stock. It's still early days. So anyway, guys, it's just an update about Neo stock. Check out the other videos on the channel. And um, don't forget to like and share. Like and share, guys, on trading platforms. Facebook, Stock Tweets, Yahoo Conversations. You name it.